What we are about to do is generate an image on Midjourney. We're then going to take that image on Midjourney and plug it into a tool known as Alpha 3D. You can see it in my tab up here on top of the screen. I had to do display mode, that way you could see Alpha 3D and Midjourney as well. And something new that I wanted to do that nobody has done before, or at least that I have seen, is create an image with Midjourney and then 3D print the object itself. And I think I'm gonna go with shoes. So let's see if we can make a shoe pattern or shoe design inside of Midjourney, plug it into a 3D modeler, and then 3D print our pair of shoes. If you haven't seen my master parameters video, right now we're inside of our tile feature in my own Midjourney server. Real quick rundown, you can see if we type in neon tiger stripes, it's going to generate something like this. However, if we add dash dash tile to add the tile parameter, it will create an ever repeating or repetitive texture pattern. So let's create something futuristic. Of course, we're going to start this with imagine like always, and let's do a future futuristic gears cogs aquamarine base color and let's add in our tile parameter and let's let it go we'll see what it comes up with mid journey has been absolutely amazing and i've really been enjoying all of the functions so now we actually have two generations because I wanted to emphasize the difference between a non-tile and a tile parameter. Here you can see we have the same exact prompt, but the one at the top is actually using, or utilizing rather, the tile parameter. So you can see the difference, one with tile, one without. But that's not what this video is about. So let's go ahead and grab, I really like three or four, so let's go ahead and actually upscale number three. We're going to upscale this one right here. Now we're going to upscale it in mid journey, but we're going to use another tool as well. So let's go ahead and save this image and I'm going to go ahead and copy this image as well. And let's make sure yep, that did not save. So let's go ahead and save this image right here. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to click upload image and we're going to upload that image that we just grabbed and this is going to upscale it and enhance it even further because whenever we 3d print something we want to ensure that the resolution comes out as crisp and as clear as possible so this right here is processing and we'll be right back so we have our image it's fully processed and you'll notice that i'm getting prompted to upgrade that means i'm using this completely free i use this all the time i've never had to sign up and i've never had to do anything so we can see that our AI upscaling to 2x right here so you can see the definition is just a little bit better but that little bit makes a lot of difference we're gonna go ahead and download that image now it's gonna prompt us here but as you'll see on the bottom left my download started anyways so we're just gonna exit out of that now we're gonna go to app.alpha3d.io. Now this is completely free as well. You get like three generations per free account and well, you can just keep making accounts. So once you're signed up for free, you're gonna be on a My Projects page. On the right side, we can add new project and we can see our completed projects in the middle. I had a little bit of fun with a race car, didn't turn out exactly how I wanted, but I've messed around with it a lot since then. So we're gonna click on add new project and we're just gonna name this uh, futuristic gears shoe model and production type is gonna be AI generated, category sneakers, perfect. And then we see ideally square image centered in the frame. Now you do not have to actually have a shoe model. So as you can see, we're just gonna go ahead and drag this and drop it right there and it will begin uploading. It'll begin uploading and then it will automatically go and render. Let's go ahead and just name this Future Gears. And then on the bottom right, we will click on Generate. Your images will now be automatically converted into a 3D model, completed projects in a few minutes, and I can attest to that it does take between three to five minutes to actually go from in production to completed model. About eight minutes later and our project has moved from all projects in production to completed. Now let's go ahead and click these three dots and then click on view and then click on the project itself. Now this right here will actually load our shoe model and you can see it's interesting. It's not 100% specific, but this is when you really start messing around with the tile parameters. Now, if you were to put this in, say, a leather or snake skin, I would think that is absolutely awesome, or maybe a sandal. But in about 10 minutes total, we grabbed our image from Midjourney, 
We saved it. We went to upscale.media and upscaled it to double pixel size at least for free. And then we plugged it into Alpha 3D, waited a few minutes, and here we have our 3D model. On the top right, we can click on download models and it will automatically download it for us. I have no paid account or no premium subscription, and you don't need one either to mess around with this awesome tool.